probably go way under on time. So, um, this is this is the new song that I advertised on Twit on uh, Facebook for, which I had it had its world premiere at my concert in the Labyrinth. Yeah. And, uh, how, how many people saw me in the Labyrinth? Yeah. Uh, how many people have seen me perform at all? So, good. So, uh, so this is my this is my contribution to the first person zombie narrative song genre. Right, the uh, that corpus of work that <laughs> involves that topic. So, here it is. I may be dead, but I'm still mobile. In a shambling sort of way And so I try Well, feeling noble To keep these appetites at bay We all crave meat We like the flavor But I'll resist the bloody stains Vegetarian zombies Don't eat brains <laughs> skin is peeling, poking bones are a bit revealing, as I lurch, toss me vegetables and grains. Vegetarian zombies don't eat brains, it's really just a preference, I know I could be tempted by a tasty piece of spleen. If just for reference, see what others glean. These new senses are so keen that as you run from me, I can smell the bleeding. Try to flee. You don't risk succeeding, but I won't be one to feast on your remains. intended. I didn't mean to disrespect your tastiness. Zombie life is strange. You work in cubicles, eating GMOs. I prefer free range. And so if you see me and my skin is peeling, poking bones are a bit revealing. As I Toss me vegetables and grains. Vegetarian zombies. Vegetarian zombies. Last time. Vegetarian zombies. Don't eat brains. second friend on this cruise. We were friends before we even got on this boat. I feel like I was having some guitar issues. He didn't really consider me a friend yet. I did. <laughs> he told me to bring my Santa Cruz guitar to the trip. I got a little excited when I saw the video of Jim playing all the ukulele stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was going to be like, ah, I'm not taking this expensive guitar on this rocking drunken boat. That's mm -hmm. a terrible idea. And you said, no, it's not. It's a wonderful <laughs> idea. So let me ask you, what made you want to write about zombies? What inspired this other than sea monkey craziness? Um, well, actually, uh, so this particular song is kind of about feeling, uh, feeling out of out of place, uh, even among other weirdos. Okay. That's um, and uh, zombie, zombies, the the idea of zombies in general denies agency to the the people involved. And it's really interesting to write a, a song from the point of view of the zombie. So what? Because normally all, all our narrative is from the point of view of people running from the zombies and the zombies are just sort of shambling hulks. But 
But you have to think that they have some sort of internal monologue. That right. the, 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 the zombies are, aren't mindless. Hmm. At least it's interesting to what, think what, that not. What makes you, in particular, the zombie in this song, let's say, more Vegeta zombie than your typical zombie? <laughs> well, he's a vegetarian. Yes. And, and, so, and so he doesn't like fit. And, and we have this stereotype. You know, zombies are, are afflicted by a negative stereotype that they only want to eat brains. Yeah. And this zombie doesn't want to eat brains, and so he, he doesn't fit in what with the other zombies. And spleens are also yeah. out of the question? Well, spleens are okay. That's spleens okay. are a sometimes food. <laughs> if they're full of salad, does that make them yeah. particularly good? Yeah, it might, it might actually. I haven't worked out all the details yet. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's a wonderful, would, wonderful would, would a vegetarian zombie eat placenta? Uh, maybe. Did we say this is a Q&A? Oh, it's a form of cannibalism, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I bought, so my, my zombie eats vegetables and grains. We've established that as... as dead vegetables and dead grains. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I guess they're not like I, I didn't say fruitarian zombie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, do you have another song for us? Uh, yeah, well, I wanted to do a, a, a joko that we could sing along with. Oh, wonderful! Please, so, okay. thank you, everybody. And then, Yay! Uh, I have a, and I have a. I'll be doing a show up in Cloud Nine at three p.m., which I think is just after this ends. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm going to do this, and I would love you to sing along. I will wait a lifetime, if it takes that long. I know she's out there, for I have heard her song and dream. She sings to me every note of symphony. Does the dappled sunlight shine her ribbons through her hair? Does she sit patiently, smiling as she waits for me? Mm -hmm. She's my millionaire girlfriend, she's my life. Once I finally find her, I'll get permission from the wife. We will all live in our castle high. My beloved and my millionaire girlfriend and I She's a fairy princess from a pirate's chest I will wear an ascot and a suit that has a vest And I will put it on as I watch God mow the lawn Secret, say from a book of old, why not? I will, wear, I will have a toothbrush that is made of solid gold, and I will watch TV as my man servant flosses me. Mm -hmm. I say, huh? She's my millionaire girlfriend, she's my life. Once I finally find her, I'll get permission from the wife. We will all live in our castle high My beloved and my millionaire girlfriend and I It does not matter to me if she's pretty All that counts is what she's got a city bear James Manhattan or even Washington Mutual When the search is over, I will cherish her. She will sign some papers, giving power of attorney, and what's hers will be mine in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. She's my millionaire girlfriend, she's my life. Once I finally find her, I'll get permission from the wife. We will all live in a castle high. My beloved and my millionaire girlfriend and I. My beloved and my millionaire girlfriend and I. My beloved and my millionaire girlfriend and I.
got a pick, right? Do you want to pick one of the black ones? Oh, uh, sure. Sure. Did you get one? Um, it's just a thank you for playing. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, Doesn't have your face on it. <laughs> I don't even have enough of my own material to play for an hour. <laughs> Get in there. Maybe, maybe Joe Co. Six. What are you doing in there? Is this, it's, it's from from my bedroom show. The presidents are allowed to do whatever they want. So. There's a show in your bedroom. Excellent. Excellent. I hope you can see enough. If, if you want, we have a hot tub here. There's a gentleman waiting for you.